when I use uh, weaving techniques in my work is very much to uh, be related to my ancestral origins, uh, indigenous origins. So in this piece, uh, Grande Boca specifically, there isn't a uh, braided straw technique uh, and more uh, sewing techniques that uh, I invented by myself to, to deal with these uh, materials. It was more to uh, techniques that I invented to put together those materials. But uh, for me it's very important because uh, I think this uh, directly uh, relationship with the nature is uh, something incredible to take a leaf and to make with this a uh, basket or a tridimensional uh, volume uh, sculpture. Uh, it's something that impressed me a lot. The main idea of doing the sculptures is think, uh, think about the nature as a whole and, and try to melt uh, the all aspects of nature, plants, animals, uh, cosmos, human beings, uh, landscape. So you want to have everything, all these aspects of nature in each piece mm -hmm. that I usually call organisms. Each piece is an organism. So these forms and colors and shapes, they are part of this uh, imaginary nature, uh, like uh, balls are like uh, cellulose, uh, also points of colors or planets, so there is uh, many meanings for, for each shape, and, but everything related to this idea of uh, creation of uh, an imaginary nature. I like to think that my work, uh, the, the, my work, the sculptures, the organisms, they are uh, like to exchange with the public uh, in many levels. There are some works that are really uh, to have an interaction, interactive works where uh, people come inside and play and lay down and uh, just can have a time to contemplate the work inside the piece. Uh, this one is not for this directly interaction, physical interaction, but I like to think that people uh, has uh, an exchange of energy with the work. The work, this, uh, this work is a big mouth, so it's uh, hungry about the, the spectator. And the work wants to eat the spectator, wants the spectator inside it. So there is a, for me there is an imaginary, uh, an idea of, of the work eating the spectator and the spectator coming inside the work and uh, have an experience inside the work, but the, the spectator has to imagine all this. Mm -hmm.